The Western film genre boasts numerous outstanding movies catering to enthusiasts of its themes. However, there are specific films that every cinema lover should experience at least once. Although the Western genre may seem antiquated to some, it holds certain essential works that deserve universal appreciation. Classic Westerns typically showcase rugged cowboys, solitary outlaws, and menacing bandits engaging in showdowns across the American frontier. Dating back to the early days of cinema, Westerns were once among the most beloved genres, offering narratives of intricate depth and emotional resonance. Despite its diminished popularity today, the Western genre continues to thrive through compelling modern interpretations. Contemporary Westerns can be observed in the stylized Wild West settings of television series such as Breaking Bad and The Mandalorian, as well as in revisionist films like Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained and Jane Campion's acclaimed drama The Power of the Dog. This enduring legacy ensures that several Western films remain essential viewing for everyone, even if only watched once, The Great Train Robbery. The Great Train Robbery is recognized as one of the earliest Western films, released during a time when the Old West was still within living memory, despite historians marking 1912 as the official end of the frontier era. This landmark, silent film, produced in 1903, tells the daring tale of a group of outlaws who hold up and rob a moving locomotive, showcasing pioneering filmmaking techniques for its time. Directed by Edwin S. Porter, The Great Train Robbery was revolutionary in its use of camera pans, dramatic close-ups, and dynamic editing, setting a new standard for cinematic storytelling. At just 12 minutes long, this short film left an enduring legacy, inspiring future filmmakers and becoming a touchstone for the Western genre. The film's impact extended beyond its initial release, influencing subsequent works of cinema and television. Scenes from The Great Train Robbery have been paid homage to in modern classics like Goodfellas and popular TV series such as Breaking Bad, highlighting its enduring cultural significance and enduring relevance in the history of filmmaking. The Great Train Robbery exemplifies the spirit of innovation and creativity that defined the early years of cinema. Its blend of action, suspense, and pioneering techniques laid the foundation for the Western genre and established enduring conventions that continue to resonate with audiences today. As a seminal work in film history, The Great Train Robbery remains essential viewing for cinephiles and scholars alike, offering a glimpse into the birth of a genre that would shape the landscape of American cinema for decades to come. The Magnificent Seven The Magnificent Seven, based on Akira Kurosawa's acclaimed film Seven Samurai, is a seminal adaptation that left an indelible mark on the Western genre and popular culture. Directed by John Sturgis and released in 1960, the film introduced audiences to the concept of assembling a team of diverse characters united by a common cause, in this case, defending a Mexican village from ruthless bandits. The ensemble cast of The Magnificent Seven, featuring notable actors such as Yul Brynner, Steve McQueen, and Charles Bronson brought depth and charisma to their respective roles as gunslingers. This dynamic group dynamic set the stage for future ensemble films, influencing the development of the assembling a team trope seen in numerous blockbuster franchises like Star Wars and The Avengers. The Magnificent Seven resonated with audiences of its time, becoming a classic of the era and spawning a successful franchise that included three sequels, a television series, and a star-studded remake in 2016. Its enduring popularity speaks to the film's universal themes of courage, honor, and camaraderie, which continue to captivate viewers across generations. By adapting Kurosawa's narrative into a Western context, The Magnificent Seven demonstrated the genre's adaptability and capacity for reinvention. The film's legacy underscores the enduring appeal of tales about unlikely heroes banding together against formidable odds, making it an essential cornerstone of Western cinema that continues to inspire filmmakers and entertain audiences worldwide. 
The Searchers. Considered the pinnacle of director John Ford's illustrious career, The Searchers stands as a monumental achievement in the Western genre. While Ford directed several acclaimed films such as Stagecoach and My Darling Clementine, it was The Searchers that epitomized his cinematic legacy. Starring John Wayne as Ethan Edwards, a Civil War veteran on a relentless quest to rescue his abducted niece from Comanche Indians, the film delves deeply into themes of race relations and the portrayal of Native Americans. The Searchers is renowned for its nuanced exploration of complex characters and moral dilemmas, challenging traditional Western narratives. It presents a gritty and thought-provoking examination of frontier life, revealing the darker aspects of American history and culture. Ford's meticulous direction and Wayne's powerful performance contributed to the film's enduring impact and influence on subsequent filmmakers. Notably, The Searchers left an indelible mark on prominent directors like Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, and George Lucas, who have cited it as a significant influence on their own work. Its thematic depth and visual storytelling techniques reshaped the trajectory of Western cinema, setting new standards for character-driven narratives and social commentary within the genre. The Searchers remains a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences and scholars alike, highlighting the enduring relevance of Ford's cinematic vision. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, featuring director John Ford alongside movie stars John Wayne and James Stewart, stands out as a masterful exploration and deconstruction of the Old West mythos. This film skillfully juxtaposes legend with reality, offering a critical perspective on the glorification of bandits, outlaws, and the Wild West itself. Released in the early 1960s, during a period when the Western genre was on the decline, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance reflects a shift towards more introspective and self-aware storytelling within the genre. Through its narrative and character portrayals, the film challenges traditional Western tropes and highlights the complexities of heroism and myth-making. John Ford's direction, coupled with the performances of Wayne and Stewart, adds depth to the exploration of Western themes, ultimately contributing to a re-evaluation of the genre's conventions. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance marks a significant turning point in Western cinema paving the way for a new era of storytelling that acknowledges and critiques the romanticized ideals of the Old West. Django, 1966 Django, a spaghetti western featuring Franco Nero as the titular drifter gunslinger, made a significant impact upon its release, known for its extreme violence. The film revolves around Django's involvement in a violent conflict between Confederate red shirts and Mexican revolutionaries. Notably, the exaggerated violence and the iconic character of Django greatly influenced Quentin Tarantino, evident in his homage film, Django Unchained. Tarantino drew inspiration from both the style and character of the original Django in crafting his own unique take on the Western genre. Directed by Sergio Corbucci, Django served as the inaugural installment in the Mud and Blood trilogy, which also includes the Great Silence, and The Specialists. The film's gritty portrayal of the Old West and its unapologetic depiction of violence contributed to its reputation as a landmark in spaghetti Western cinema, leaving a lasting impression on subsequent filmmakers and reshaping the trajectory of the genre. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid A pivotal moment in the evolution of New Hollywood, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, marked a transformative shift in filmmaking during the late 1960s. This movie exemplified the rise of auteur-driven cinema, challenging the dominance of the traditional studio system with its innovative approach to storytelling. Directed by George Roy Hill, the film seamlessly blended the established conventions of the Western genre with a fresh, humorous, and action-packed contemporary feel. Starring Paul Newman as Butch Cassidy and Robert Redford as the Sundance Kid, the film celebrated the camaraderie and charisma of its lead actors, 
whose on-screen chemistry became legendary. Their dynamic portrayal of real-life outlaws injected new life into the Western genre and set a benchmark for buddy films to come. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid captured the spirit of rebellion and adventure characteristic of new Hollywood cinema, resonating with audiences and critics alike. This landmark film not only revitalized the Western genre, but also left a lasting impact on the filmmaking industry as a whole. It demonstrated the creative freedom and artistic vision that defined new Hollywood, paving the way for more daring and unconventional narratives in American cinema. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid remains essential viewing for cinephiles interested in exploring the dynamic intersection of classic Western themes with the innovative spirit of new Hollywood filmmaking. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly The Dollars Trilogy, directed by Sergio Leone and starring Clint Eastwood as the iconic man with no name, remains a cornerstone of the Western genre celebrated for its groundbreaking contributions to cinematic storytelling. Comprising A Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More, and culminating in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, this trilogy redefined the spaghetti western genre and introduced some of the most iconic imagery in film history. Among the trilogy, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly stands out as a masterpiece renowned for its epic scale and memorable sequences. The film's climax featuring a three-way Mexican standoff has become legendary, symbolizing the tension and moral ambiguity characteristic of Sergio Leone's directorial style. This iconic moment solidified the good, the bad, and the ugly as the definitive example of the spaghetti western genre, influencing countless filmmakers and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Sergio Leone's innovative use of cinematography, gripping storytelling, and Ennio Morricone's evocative musical score elevated the Dollars trilogy to unparalleled heights, reshaping the perception of Western films both in Italy and internationally. Clint Eastwood's portrayal of the enigmatic man with no name epitomized the anti-hero archetype captivating audiences with his stoic demeanor and lethal skill. Overall, the Dollars Trilogy remains essential viewing for Western enthusiasts and cinephiles alike, offering a masterclass in cinematic craftsmanship and genre-defining storytelling. Its enduring legacy continues to inspire filmmakers to push boundaries and reimagine the Western genre for contemporary audiences. Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968 Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West stands as an epic tribute to the enduring legacy of the Western genre, while simultaneously redefining and revitalizing its conventions. Released in 1968, the film represents a pinnacle of Leone's career, showcasing themes of revenge, greed, and the struggle against modernization in the American frontier. Once Upon a Time in the West distinguishes itself through impeccable attention to detail and masterful visual storytelling. Leone's signature style, characterized by sweeping landscapes and evocative cinematography, captures the rugged beauty and harsh realities of the Old West with unparalleled authenticity. The film's deliberate pacing and minimal dialogue heighten its atmospheric impact, immersing viewers in a world defined by dust, sweat, and existential conflict. At nearly three hours in length, Once Upon a Time in the West offers an immersive and profound cinematic experience. Leone's deliberate approach to storytelling allows for a deep exploration of character motivations and thematic depth, transcending the traditional boundaries of the Western genre. The film's sprawling narrative unfolds like a grand opera, celebrating and challenging the genre's tropes while paying homage to its storied history. Despite its length, Once Upon a Time in the West remains a landmark in Western cinema that demands attention from cinephiles and scholars alike. Leone's ambitious vision and uncompromising dedication to craft establish this film as an essential viewing experience, showcasing the transformative power of cinema to evoke emotion and provoke contemplation. In conclusion, 
Once Upon a Time in the West stands as a testament to Sergio Leone's genius and the enduring allure of the Western genre. Its thematic richness, visual splendor, and narrative complexity make it a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences across generations. To fully appreciate the breadth and depth of Western filmmaking, Once Upon a Time in the West is a must-see cinematic journey that captures the essence of a bygone era while remaining relevant in the present day. The Wild Bunch, 1969. The Wild Bunch, directed by Sam Peckinpah, revolutionized the Western genre through its pioneering use of modern filmmaking techniques. Released in 1969, the film introduced innovative approaches such as multi-angle framing, rapid editing, and slow-motion shots to capture the chaotic intensity of action sequences and gunfights. Peckinpah's groundbreaking editing style created a visceral and immersive cinematic experience that resonated with audiences. One of the defining features of The Wild Bunch was its unflinchingly brutal depiction of violence which pushed the boundaries of what was acceptable on cinema screens. Peckinpah's use of slow motion during action sequences heightened the impact of each gunshot and confrontation, emphasizing the raw and brutal nature of the Old West. This uncompromising portrayal of violence challenged traditional notions of heroism and morality in Western films. Moreover, The Wild Bunch breathed new life into a genre that had been waning in popularity during the late 1960s. By infusing the Western with contemporary sensibilities and a gritty realism, Peckinpah revitalized audience interest and redefined the possibilities of storytelling within the genre. The film's bold experimentation with visual storytelling and thematic depth paved the way for a new era of Western cinema inspiring subsequent filmmakers to explore complex narratives and character dynamics. The Wild Bunch remains a landmark achievement in the evolution of the Western genre, demonstrating the transformative power of innovative filmmaking techniques. Its influence continues to be felt in modern cinema, underscoring the enduring relevance of Peckinpah's visionary approach to storytelling and genre deconstruction. For aficionados of Westerns and film enthusiasts alike, The Wild Bunch stands as a testament to the genre's capacity for artistic innovation and cultural impact. The Outlaw Josie Wales Clint Eastwood's The Outlaw Josie Wales stands as a testament to the evolution of the Western genre in the later stages of Eastwood's career. Released in 1976, the film represents a crucial entry in the revisionist movement within Western cinema, aiming to challenge and deconstruct the traditional myths and romanticized notions of the Old West. Eastwood, both as director and star, imbues the character of Josie Wales with depth and complexity, blurring the lines between heroism and moral ambiguity. The narrative of the outlaw Josie Wales follows Josie's transformation from a solitary outlaw driven by vengeance to a figure of honor and integrity. His quest for revenge against Union soldiers who killed his family becomes a catalyst for personal growth and redemption. Through Josie Wales, Eastwood explores themes of loss, resilience, and the harsh realities of frontier life, offering a nuanced portrayal that resonates with authenticity. In addition to its thematic depth, the outlaw Josie Wales showcases Eastwood's mastery of the Western genre, exemplifying his distinctive style and storytelling prowess. The film's emphasis on realism and character-driven narratives reflects a shift towards more introspective and morally complex storytelling in Western cinema during the 1970s. Overall, the outlaw Josie Wales occupies a significant place in Eastwood's Western filmography and serves as a prime example of the genre's evolution towards realism. For enthusiasts of Western cinema and admirers of Eastwood's work, this underrated gem deserves recognition and appreciation for its contribution to the ongoing transformation of the Western genre. Its enduring relevance underscores the genre's capacity to evolve 
and adapt to changing cultural and artistic sensibilities. Exploring these classic Western films offers a captivating journey through the rich history of the genre. From iconic showdowns to complex characters and themes, each movie leaves an indelible mark on cinematic storytelling. Whether you're a seasoned Western enthusiast or new to the genre, these films promise entertainment and insight into the diverse landscapes and narratives of the Old West. To discover more about the world of cinema, including Westerns and beyond, subscribe to our channel for regular updates and recommendations. Stay tuned for more captivating content and join us on a cinematic adventure through the ages. Happy watching.